Welcome to the channel. Today's episode, we've got an NC MX-5 brand new build. We're going to be doing a little bit of rust repair. We're also going to be painting the interior, so stay tuned. We're back here at the shop. Let's go over the car so I can show you what we need to do to it. So the whole outside of this car is gonna get wrapped, but we're gonna be painting the uh, engine compartment here, the bottom side of the hood. It's gonna go uh, that gray, that interior gray color we use. The bars, all of the engine compartment. We're gonna be doing the jams, the gray, the inside of the pocket of the door, and the, also the jam of the door and inside the trunk we've got a little bit of stuff we got to repair a little bit of rust damage back here we've got to repair and then paint all of this area i have an idea we're going to try to take this this is a heat shield for the muffler we're going to drill these rivets off and get this piece off and i'm going to try to use this as the patch panel for the rust repair Gives you a better view of the rust. You see it's rusted through here and this little panel here has some of the same indentations so I think this panel is going to work pretty well. We're going to try it out and see. All right so we're going to cut out the bad metal on this bottom and we'll use that as a template to sit on this and trace it out so we can cut out a perfect piece to go up in the hole. All right, so we're gonna bend this lip right here. We're gonna bend it up so it'll give it something to sit against the rear body panel. One of the things we have to do to this NC MX-5 is give it a facelift. There are three different generations of the NC car. This is a 2008, so this is the first generation which uses this bumper and this headlight combination. Now there's the second gen is the 2009 through 2012, and then there's 2013 to 2015, which is the last generation of the NC. We're going to be putting the 2013 to 2015 front bumper and headlights on this car. So let's do that now. Now there's some bolts that hold the bumper to the fender underneath here, so we'll have to take off the splash shield to access those. There's clips obviously in the splash shield. There's bolts all the way across the top here that hold the top of the bumper to the core support. More bolts behind here. There's bolts and clips across the bottom. So once we get all those off, we'll be able to pull the bumper cover off, and then we can take the headlights out and put the new headlights in. It's a pretty easy conversion to make this car look like a 2015. You don't even have to change the hood and the fenders because they're the same. So the headlight didn't fit up with the bumper very well and we pulled it back apart and 
the reinforcement here has a slight bend to it and I think this rise right here is holding the bumper out and also this piece was bent so we pulled it forward a little bit and I think it's bent a little bit right there you can see just a little bit so we're gonna tap that back out make sure that's straight that mounting point looks okay and I think this mounting points okay we're gonna bend this around try to knock that down so the bumper will slide back and that should alleviate our gap between our headlight and our bumper All right, so the adjustment we did made the gap good. They're both the same on both sides, and everything looks really good. So we're gonna pull this thing back apart and get it ready to start painting gray. In order to paint this engine bay, we're gonna get these brake lines out of the way. In order to do that, we're gonna have to pop them loose from the firewall. We're gonna take the master cylinder away from the brake booster and pull the brake booster off the firewall also. And we're also gonna take this ABS unit and try to lay everything in the center so we can cover it up and be able to paint all of that area up there. So we've got a little bit of surface rust left in the trunk area. It's kind of residual around the outside where the patch panel is. We're going to be using this stuff called Rust Mort. Now it stops rust and you brush it on with a brush and you let it dry for 24 hours. So let's get this put on there right now. So we've got most of the parts taken off this NC car that we're taking off of it. Got some of the scuffing done here in the trunk area. We've got the patch panel put in. We've got the rust mort on the surface rust there. We're going to leave the fenders on, so we're just going to paint the inside jams on the car. So, all that's left to do is to finish scuffing all this interior so we can get it painted. So the rust mort has been sitting for 24 hours and per the instructions you take a damp cloth with water and wipe the area that you use the rust mort on then you make sure it's good and dry so we took a blower and dried it all off so now we can start putting some primer on we're going to be applying two coats of epoxy primer all right so let's get these parts all taken apart and we'll get them outside and get them sprayed down with some degreaser and then we'll pressure wash them. It's a pretty important step to get these used parts clean to get any impurities off the panels before we even start to scuff them. Alright, so we've got these parts all pressure washed, now we can let them dry and then we'll start scuffing them with a red pad.
we got all these parts set up in here. Everything's taped up. Everything's been scuffed. So we can start painting. We have a couple of choices when it comes to sealer on these parts. Now I can use regular 2K sealer because there's not a lot of bare metal. Or I can use the epoxy sealer wet on wet like I'm going to be using on the car. Because the car has a lot of bare metal when it comes to the roll cage. And I like to use the epoxy when it comes to bare metal because there's, there's good adhesion properties with bare metal with the epoxy. So, it's probably six of one, half a dozen of the other. Um, we'll probably just lean towards just the regular sealer, 2K sealer, because I don't see the advantage of using the epoxy on the parts. So, let's get our sealer mixed up. I'll get my paint suit on. We can start spraying these parts. All right, so we got our paint suit on. We decided to go with the 2K chromatic sealer, which is the ECS 65. And this actually mixes up three one-to-one. -one. So it's three parts of the chromatic sealer one part of the hardener and one part reducer. We've already got it mixed up, it's in the gun, ready to go. Let's go spray these parts. got the one coat of chromatic sealer sprayed on there. We gave it a 15 minute flash time, so now we're ready to start spraying some single stage. We got it mixed up in the gun here. We're gonna be applying two coats of this with a 15 minute flash time in between coats. Let's go spray it. All right, so we got that last coat of single stage sprayed on there. Let's go take a close up look at it. All right, so I think that stuff looks really good in there. We're gonna let it dry overnight. We'll come back in the morning, get it untaped and get it out of the booth. That way we can load up the car and start getting it ready so we can paint the interior of it. Have you ever looked at someone and knew the wheel was turning but the hamster was dead? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's gonna be about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and clicking on the bell icon and that way you won't miss any future content. If you have any thoughts or questions, leave it in the comment section down below. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. See ya!